What's up guys? It is the beginning of week four. It's like 65 degrees and raining right now, so it's fantastic weather. My dad just got home and said he found a brown snake in the driveway on the way up, uh, right as I was about to leave. But I figured I'd run an intro video because it's gonna be raining. Uh, so I'm gonna wanna keep my camera out only when I need it to film herps. But the target tonight's wood frogs and we're going south. Uh, when you think of wood frogs, you generally think of the mountains. Look at the shadow, it's cool. But uh, yeah, there's a little isolated population down in central Georgia, and I'm gonna go see if I can find one. That's a lifer for me, and one of, I think, only two frogs I have left in the state of Georgia. Uh, so let's get moving, see what we can On the road to my spot, saw this big mug in the road, had to stop and get a look. Check that out. <laughs> Huge spotted salamander. Too cool. Put my hand down. Get some pictures of this guy and get him out of the road. It is raining. That's the wrong red frog. It's an American toad. Get him out of the road. Well, I just lost a frog off the road that I'm almost positive was a wood frog. And then there's this guy. And whatever that. That used to be a leopard frog. That is still an American toad. <laughs> Let's get him out of the road. That might be a Fowler's actually. Let's get him out of the road. Oh my god, I did it! Look at that! It's beautiful! Wood frog, lifer, first one in Georgia. Holy crap, there's a guy broke down right there. <laughs> I might have to go see if I can get this guy to jump, but check that out. Oh my god, yes. Alright guys, I moved down the road a little bit to where I could uh, get off the road and out of the way to get another look at this guy, but check that out. It's so beautiful. I love that dark whatever color that is. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, it's a wood frog color. It's awesome. I love it. So cool. What an awesome first lifer of 2019. And what an awesome specimen. We're gonna take some pictures of this guy and let him go. And maybe try to find another couple more. All right guys, you can't make this up. So I just, <laughs> I just got out of the car to take pictures of my lifer wood frog. And a second one started hopping across like right in front of me. Check that out. Another fantastic looking one. Such awesome looking frogs. And despite how common they might be up north, these guys are not easy to find in Georgia, even in North Georgia. And these guys are from almost two hours south of Atlanta. Very cool. All right, let's take some pictures. All right guys, here's one look at these two together. I'm gonna have to get back in the car here in a second. My camera and my phone are getting soaked, but freaking awesome. I could not be happier with how tonight went. I'm gonna let these two guys go right here where I found them and maybe see if I can find something else, but I'll probably just head home. All right, guys, I left my gear in the car and I'm walking around here a little bit. Maybe see if I can find one more wood frog, a moth. But yeah, I mean, tonight went exactly as planned. It was incredible. I'm so happy to have gotten to see those two awesome little frogs. And as common, like I said, as common as they may be up north, even in Georgia where they're more common up north, the ones down here are stunning and they're not an easy frog to find. They're probably one of the harder. I'd say they're definitely in the top three hardest frogs to find in Georgia. So I could not be happier. But I'm gonna poke around here a little bit more, see if I can turn something else up. And if not, I'll head home. Well, I haven't walked far from the car at all. <laughs> and there's the third wood frog of the night. Another good looking red one. Freaking awesome. I'm gonna take a couple cell phone shots of this one and head home. What an awesome night. Alright guys, so I actually ended up finding five wood frogs that night. I found two more on the way home, but the rain was just, it was incredible. There was so much rain, and I just, I was having a hard time seeing anything on the road. So I stopped a few more times and actually found a couple of wood frogs even closer to home. So it was a good way to end the night, and I'm going to transition into uh, the first day and only day of the week I saw snakes. What's up guys? Had a nice hard freeze last night. Good morning guys. It's uh, 9 o'clock in the morning. I just got out of the shower and headed out to get some gas. But I am about to go and try to get a snake in for week 4. It's technically it's Sunday, it's the first day of week 5, but since week 4 was pretty slow, the only thing I really did was go find wood frogs. Um, which was, you know, for me that's more than enough, but feel obligated to try to get some snakes in and it's not going to be that bad out today so I'm gonna go try to find a king snake and if I find anything else it'll just be a bonus so 
uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab something to eat and go meet Richard and we're gonna drive to a spot that's not too far away and get harping. All right, guys, we're out here. It's about 50 degrees and overcast. It's not the best, but maybe we'll find something. The sun's trying to come out. Out here walking in the swamp. It's usually really good. I haven't seen anything yet though, so I'm gonna keep at it. All right, guys, just flipped the timber and two cottonmouths under this rock or log. Holy crap. Look at that. It's freaking awesome. Yeah, just get have it handy in case he starts to run off. I'd like to be able to take in C2s and just put the log back down, though, honestly. Yeah, that with me. That's awesome. See, see those pictures of alligators freezing in their water. <laughs> and they're fine. Insane. Uh, so maybe snakes are like that too. Just... We're gonna roll this log back and leave these guys as they are, as to not disturb them in case they're in some sort of like semi brumation. But freaking awesome. Let's see if we can find some more stuff. All right, guys. I was checking out this tree and I spotted this right here. Some kind of snake shed. It looks pretty fresh too. Weird thing to see this time of year. That we decided this is a little rat snake shed. A little weird thing to see this time of year though. Alright guys, we've been walking a lot. Haven't seen anything besides those two cottons and the timber under the log. But we're gonna go check out a slightly different area and see if we can turn anything up over there. It really hasn't warmed up today like it was supposed to. Um forecast lied to me. What else is new? But we're probably about to once again switch it up a little bit and try to check out some new spots since this area aside from that one log apparently seems to be dead today so we're gonna walk back to the car and check out some new spots all right Richard just found a snake Ugh. His tail is going down into the <laughs> that's cool Check that out. NC2 rat snake. It's crazy. Good stuff. All right, guys, so Richard just spotted that. Wow. He is basking. Timber rattlesnake, number three for the day. Look at that. I'm gassed. Came out from under this log here. That's too cool. I'm gonna take some pictures. It's late January and it's 52 degrees, completely overcast. It's cold, I'm, I'm sniveling. And there's a timber rattlesnake out basking. Doesn't get better than that. So this thing is, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't have any lesions, it's, it's good weight. Mm -hmm. Like, that's crazy. This goes against everything that people say. These snakes are just incredibly cold tolerant. All right, guys, here's one last look at this timber rattlesnake in C2. We're going to leave him right there without bothering him and let him go back to sitting here being cold boy. See if we can find any more. All right, next snake. Richard just flipped this brown snake under a log right here on the edge of this swamp. Pretty common, but nice to see another snake for the day. I'll let him go. All right, guys, it has been a heck of a day, but it's getting kind of late. It's cooling off. I made something of week four. That's what I was hoping we could do today. Uh, it's It's been a really cold, lots of freezes. It froze last night pretty hard. It was, I mean, the, you saw the ice. It's just absolutely wacky that we can come out here and have a day like this with these temperatures. But I will probably not see you guys until week five uh, when we welcome February in with uh, warmer temperatures so hey guys thanks for watching uh, week four was pretty less than ideal when it came to the temperatures and the weather it froze probably every night but one or two this week and tomorrow is actually Tuesday so this video will probably go up on Tuesday where we are forecasted to have a 100% chance of snow and overnight temperatures in the low 20s and even the high teens. So week four or week five might end up having to be a little bit of a throwback video. I might upload 
the video from the first time I flipped this log and found three vipers, and that time it was two timber rattlesnakes and one cotton mouth instead of the other way around. But um, at the end of the week, it's supposed to warm up quite a bit, so if I can get out at the end of the week, um, I'll have a pretty good chance of seeing some snakes, so we'll see. Uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for week five coming up probably next Sunday, hopefully.